This is the worst wheel wobble I've seen in any car, like, ever. SHIT NO! That was probably a good time for me to show you that this is actually a further death game. So, I now have to start again. So that journey of driving to the shops now becomes much more tedious than what it needs to be. Uh, but we have learned a valuable lesson. If you have a wheel wobble in your car, d don't look at it. Right. Take two. Hundred. Twenty-seven. Handbrake off, into gear, off we go. Right. Get off the... Oh my god, the handling of this game! Can I plug in an Xbox controller and do this? Can I? Maybe if I plug in an Xbox controller, things can become much easier. Right, plug that in there. Should hear a noise. No noise. How about a noise now? There it is. Right. Doesn't work. Uh, speed is key. Right, now, now you need a break. Oh, there he is! There's that! That! Get him! Catch him! This man that just drove past us, he is an absolute lunatic. Um, he drives up and down these roads practicing for the rally race, I believe, um, which you can do at the end of the game. Uh, it's not really an end of the game. This game has no end as such. You can just keep playing. But this guy is an absolute nightmare. Say, if you've gone out late at night to get something... You're driving down this road. Thankfully, he's driving the way that we're driving at the moment. But if he were to be driving towards us, he will not stop. He he won't. He just will crash into you and, and kill you. Not that I'd know, obviously, because I, I said that I haven't died in this game before. I'll, if I have, I'll just edit it out. It'll be fine. Anyway, we're back to where the junction is. I need to get used to this, because I keep looking at... The camera when I should realistically be looking at the game so I don't crash again. No, but I need to get used to looking at the camera, not the actual... When I look away, I can't drive! Okay, so we've just clocked over 100 kilometers an hour. I'm expecting the wheel wobble to start again soon. And I'm focusing on staying on this side of the road. I've found that if I do 100 kilometers, it's fine. Anything more than that, and it goes nuts. But I need to overtake this truck, which I imagine is doing about... 100 kilometers an hour. So that means going on the other side and going flat out with wobble. Yes. Your truck has no match for the wobbly blue van. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> He's just. It's everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Right, slow down for the turn. If we go beneath, beneath, below. Don't lock up. Don't lock up, you. <clears throat> Everything is fine and under control. Now, I should add that this game is actually in early access. Um, and in my opinion, at least, this game is fantastic. I absolutely, I love this game. Um, I don't know why I was so late in playing it, because loads of other YouTubers have played it, and some have enjoyed it, some not so much. But this game is a perfect example of why graphics aren't important, because what comes first is gameplay. Over here, we have some yobbos, which I do not like. And I'm pretty sure there's a button on this game, which, when pushed... Oh, this pushes things. So I can just damage his car. Don't know why that does that. No, the button I'm looking for is... That one! Yeah, what are you gonna do? Oh, he's gone mad! How could this happen to me? I made my mistake! Go to hell! Smell of shit. Now, I did say this game is good, and I love it, but it's not perfect, as we can quite clearly see. Anyway, this here is the poston, or poster, uh, which uh, is where you put your letters when you want to order your car parts. And this is the terrifying man that's going to... that's going to... Make your shit scared for life. I am the one, the way your son don't need the gun to get respect. Let's get some things for the house. We need a fan belt, get some clutch fluid, get a motor oil coolant. So that's stuff for the car. We'll get all of this. And now what we need is food so that we can uh, obviously apply them to cancel out hunger and fatigue. So let's get crap ton of sausages, crap ton of pizzas, and crisps. Right, back in the car. Ignition. It's going to take a while. 
Whilst this warms up, I should probably say that the shop, which is just there, which we went into, you can break into it at night. You can throw something, smash the window, and get everything in there for free, if that's the way that you're inclined. Obviously, I'm not from up north, so I'm not going to do that. Sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, power slide. That's karma for making a joke about one of my colleagues. Bollocks. Right. Reverse. Just gonna... No, no. Stop! Forwards! I forget. The issue is, because this game has gears, you need to push W to do whatever gear. And pushing W to go backwards is quite unnatural, so that's a bit weird. Anyway, we've got our stuff in the back. We're also about to be overtaken by a car. Right! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! There was a car crash! Are they okay? Can I steal stuff from their car? What do you do? What do you do in Finland if there's a car crash? Do you steal stuff? Do you do you actually act kind? I don't know. I've never seen that happen before. So the journey from here on out is pretty much simple. We get back to the house, put all this stuff down, uh, and start. And I, what I usually do is start building the car, but obviously this bloody wheel wobble. This wheel wobble is mental. Break. Whoa! What the hell? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <coughs> what the hell just happened? I just got plummeted in the anus, like destroyed. Holy shit! I took that hard at the arse. That's never happened to me either before in this game. Um, right, driving mode. Um, that was weird. I've <laughs> never had that before. Oh my days. Anyway, it's pretty simple, the process from here on out. You put, you've got your stuff for the car, which is what it recommends for you to do first in one of the tutorials on Steam. Um, and then you go back. What I would usually do now is start building the car. Obviously, I don't know if you guys would like to see more of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive back to the house, round off the video, and if you guys would like to see me carry on this, then you'll have to leave a like and a comment down below. We're now doing 110 kilometers an hour, which I think is like 69... Don't. Don't. I'm not good with conversions. Everything should just be in miles an hour because that's a unit that everyone can understand because you travel in miles. This is fact. Right, we're turning the wheel with catastrophic wheel wobble. Yes, turn. No! Turn, 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 turn. Right, where's the turning? There's the turning. Stop. And Scandinavian flick. That didn't go well. Yes. There's home. We made it. Sorry, there's home. That's just the barn that we own. Right, and there is the car. Right, we're home. We made it home. I need to go into drive mode again to turn off the engine. Handbrake on. Get out of car. And now this is just simply the process of taking stuff in the house. I need to lean in. Hello. And get the stuff. Now, you may remember that I bought quite a lot of stuff when I uh, um, went to the shop. So what I like to do is just make sure it goes into this cupboard and then I push F and it explodes. Oh, it's not all in the... Get in there. Just put that on the table. Anyway, I should probably eat that because it's quite... There you go, hunger's gone down. And then if you want to drink, you just put the tap on, lean in, have a sip. So on that note, guys, I think it's time for me to wrap up the video. If you have enjoyed this video, and if you have enjoyed Facecam for that matter, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. I know I've been quite inactive recently. There should have been a video gone up before this. If not, it'll be going up after of a montage of what you can expect in 2017. Don't fret about Facecam as well, because this will not be a thing for gear knobs. This Facecam thing is mainly just for games like this, where I can express myself being an absolute moron, because gear knobs, I'm pretty sure, speaks for itself. I'm already much of enough of a moron on that show, when, when it comes out, that is. Uh, but anyway, on that bombshell, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more of this, let me know. If you want to see more Facecam, let me know too. And until next time, guys, adios.